Hello together. In this video I will show you something in uh, Visual Studio uh, on a web website when you want to design uh, HTML elements. Uh, I was asked uh, how to create a div container with a frame, uh, with a border, so that it's visible. And uh, in this case, first when you do this, <coughs> then uh, you have here, uh, you're writing a div container, that's a div tag, and then to design this, uh, when you have a <coughs> test page .html, then you have to uh, enter or insert a small style uh, property uh, text, and there you have to set the border, um, border and then when you type that the IntelliSense comes up and you have to type the tab button and then um, double point I don't know what's the uh, English word is therefore and then you may select one of those given um, elements from the um, from the selection but uh, still when you do this and now the border color border color is black uh, double point and let's say black no, blue okay this is one way to type it with um, the uh, style attribute or properties and but when you are in when you are in um, Visual Studio, you have also the uh, ability to type the Alt uh, Enter key, and when you're there, you see the properties. And in this case, and that's important, <coughs> when you have a HTML file for testing, then you won't see here uh, s something to do. If you take the the same stuff in a uh, if you create a test page .aspx and when you do the same stuff there then let's first let's do it like this I take it out uh, and w when you're here in this uh, tag div tag and you type alt and the enter key then you will see here the uh, properties which are uh, from this HTML uh, file or element and there you have the style, the style, uh, CSS style and when you take here the context then you have the modify style, modify style uh, the visual uh, designer help and there you have the border and let's say you may select here uh, solid and maybe border width a thick thick one and you you always see it on your uh, on the preview that's the advantage of this one i say a green one and now we have to <coughs> i will start it on google on the google chrome and yes you see there there's a border uh the 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 help the system there makes it sometimes a little bit better it says okay border and then a double point thick uh, thick solid and the color and when I wrote it by myself I took it like this one so <coughs> let's see what's happening um, when you open at the start page a HTML file and modify it then you have as we see here there's now the the element and but you have to reload it because uh, HTML files are uh, static and now I reloaded it and as we see there uh, we have uh, entered here this border color blue and this works okay <clears throat> now when I take the same one as the uh, ASPX file then system has to do a little bit more because it's uh, also compiling the stuff in the background it's not static So this is now the same and now we see this uh, changed stuff and we are also able to uh, to change the, the size and you see how the system behaves uh, in the in HTML uh, w when you want to modify it and you work with a with any browser then you have uh, 
hier an der uh, Google Chrome, I don't know the uh, the developer tool here. It's uh, when I start this, then I will see what I uh, the style, thick, solid, and the stuff there, and we have the same in here. So you are also able to modify it in your final system but uh, sometimes it's helpful when you're there you may modify it like this um, you may say something like that um, thin so when you when you when nothing nothing is there then you may uh, select something like that so it does also the job uh, you have the selection there mm, yeah and that's that's it i want to tell you that sometimes it's helpful when you take uh when you develop something in the star uh, in an aspx uh, file if you liked it or if this was helpful then uh, please contact me uh, for further information